All right, guys, the next question says, in the diagram on the right, um, O is the center of the circle, A, B, C, D are the points on the circle such that the segment C, D goes through O. If B, A, C is 35 degrees, you can see it's given over there. Uh, B, A, C is 35 degrees, find angle. Um, B, C, D, so that B, C, D, so this angle over here. Okay, cool. So uh, let's see how we can solve this problem. Well, if you look at C, D, well, C, D, uh, below C, D is a semicircle and above C, D is a semicircle. So if you can form um, a connection between A and D, so if we can draw from A to D, well, we would have um, an angle inside a semicircle which would form a 90 degrees angle, right? And at the same time, we formed a 90 degrees angle. Can you now see that we have a cyclic chord which is A, B, C, D? So we have a cyclic chord there which is A, B, C, D. Now, B, A, D, B, A, D, what is angle B, A, D? Now, angle B, A, D would be the 35 plus the 90 degrees. Now 35 plus 90 would be equal to 125, okay? Now this BAD, since it is a cyclic quad, the opposite angle to it, they would have to add up to um, 180 degrees. So then to work out BCD, so to work out angle BCD would have to say, angle 180 minus uh, BAD. And since we already have BAD, we'll say 180 minus 125. So 180 minus 125 is going to be 55 degrees. And that is going to be our answer for BCD, which is equal to C. So fairly straightforward, not too bad, one of the easy ones. So let's continue then into the next question. All right, cool. Question four. Question four says, in triangle ABC, so this is ABC, circles are drawn with tangent points D, E, F, G, H, and J as shown. If D, E is equal to three, C, F is equal to five, and the perimeter of the triangle ABC is, equal, is P, compute AB in terms of P. So we're looking for this side here, AB, and we're looking at what in terms of P. So we can see here the main theorem that is going to be used, and it is going to be um, the theorem that is about um, the lines that are tangent um, to a circle. So then, we have tangents here. So we have a line uh, which has point C here, which is tangent to this smaller circle and it cuts at E and at F. So what we do know there is that this um, CF would be equal to CE. So this would also be five, right? And then we also have this thing coming down from C to G and from C to D. Now, DE would also have to be equal to GE. So this would be three right here. So the entire thing from there to there would be eight as it would be eight here as well. Okay, now let's look at these tangents from another angle. So let's look at from A. So if we're looking from A, well, we would know that AD and AH would have to be equal to each other. And let's give them a variable. So let's give them the variable x. And so it will be x here and x there, okay? And then lastly, we also have another tangent to consider, which is here. So we would know that bg is equal to bh and their variable, let's say it is y and it is y. So then we would have to compute the perimeter of the triangle, but ultimately what you're looking for in all of this is to find AB in terms of P. So what is AB first? So let's think about AB, what it is first. Well, AB is this side, and this side is basically going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to X 
plus the y. So a, b is equal to x plus y. Okay, cool. So let's continue then in that trajectory and compute the perimeter of a, b. So the perimeter of a, b is given by p and perimeter is basically the sum of the sides added together. So we can then first add this side here. Now this side is eight plus this extra little piece right here, which is X. So you're gonna have eight plus X. Let's also add CB. Now CB is gonna be a slightly different. It's gonna be eight as well, but it's gonna be eight plus Y, okay? And then you're gonna to have to add the side of AB, which is just, um, which is just going to be um, X plus Y. All right, cool. So we can add the like terms together. So if we add the like terms together, you're gonna to have eight plus eight, which is 16. We're gonna have X plus X, which is two X, and we're gonna have Y plus Y. Uh, which is 2y. Okay, cool. So I've written it a little bit differently, but it's 16 plus 2y plus 2x or plus 2x plus 2y, whichever way you want to write it. Okay, cool. I'll flip it anyways as well because I actually want it to look um, as x and y instead of y and x, even though it's the same thing. So what do we need to do here? Well, we do know that a, b is x and y. So how can we get x, y together? and replace it with AB. So what you can do is we can take out a common factor between these two. So you're gonna have 16. Let's take out a common factor of two. So if you take out a common factor of two, we're just gonna be left with X plus Y. So you've taken the common factor of two and you just have X plus Y. So then that would mean that where we see X plus Y, we can basically just replace with AB. So that then becomes 16 plus 2AB. And so to solve for AB, what do we do? We then take the 16 to the other side. So it's gonna be P minus 16 is equal to 2AB. And so you can divide by two both sides, divide by two, divide by two, and therefore AB is going to be P minus 16 um, over two. And that answer over there would be C. All right, cool. So not a bad one, uh, but yeah. So that would be it then for this question. Let's go into the next question. Next question says, two non-overlapping circles of radius two, so radius two sit in a four, eight, rectangle. So then this would be A, I believe, and this would be 4, because you can just look by the length. It says a diagonal is drawn. See the diagram below. Find the area of the region shaded blue. That is the area of the region in the triangle, but outside of the circle. Okay, cool. So uh, this is slightly similar to the first one, because here, if you can be able to find the area of the triangle minus the area of these somewhat circles here, then we'll be able to get the shaded region, the area of the shaded region. Okay, cool. So we can start firstly doing the easy thing. Now, what's the easy thing? The easy thing is to basically work out the area of the triangle. So this, sorry, yeah, the area of the triangle. So this is a fairly simple area because you have a right angle triangle already, right angle triangle already. So you would just say one over two uh, base times height. Now one over two, um, the base is eight and the height is four. And um, to answer that one over two times eight is four, four times four is 16. So the area of the triangle would be 16, uh, 16 centimeters squared, meter squared, whatever the case may be, but the number is 16. Now let's look at the other shape that is in here. Now, if we look at these circles, we have a circle that is basically cut here, and then we have a circle that is slightly cut here. But if you look at this, and you look at the one that's outside, you actually have a circle here, and then you have another one that's just here, right? 
So actually, if you do close it, you can see that this actually makes up a full circle. These two circles that are inside here, they make up the full circle. Hopefully you can see that. So these two circles that are right here, they make up one full circle. So they make up one full circle. So we have a circle like this, and then we have a circle like this one. So if you close it, it makes up one full circle. So then we'd have to work out the area of a full circle because it would make up that full circle. So what's the area of a circle? It would be two, it would be pi r squared. So we'd have pi. What is the radius? The radius is given there as two. So pi two squared, which would be equal to two squared is four. So that would be four pi. And so to find the area of the shaded region, we would have to say the 16 minus four pi. So 16 minus four pi is B. All right, cool. Hopefully that makes sense. It's much more similar uh, to the first one that we did in this paper. So hopefully it makes sense. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box below and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Let's go into the next question.